Salutations, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Kingsway. Um, this is our second uh, episode in our Let's Try that might become a Let's Play. We'll see. It depends. Um, I'm enjoying this game so far, so if you missed the first episode, this is kind of like a combination between an RPG and an operating system, like a Windows 95 uh, inspired operating system, or maybe even like a uh, Macintosh operating system, although the taskbar is at the bottom, so I think Windows. Um, okay, so we're going to continue. We, we just got to Vestion Gip Village, uh, and we haven't checked out any of this stuff, although I see there's a quest thing here. Skeletons in our area, and we also got, so that one we knew about, and we got a new quest here, the King's Castle. Hello, Graham Devel. Making your way to the King's Castle won't be an easy task. There are three beacons that first must be lit before the King's Gate will open. These beacons are spread out across the island, and I think we saw one on the map already, and are protected by the King's most powerful knights. To help you find your way, we've put a map of the island in your storage box at the guild. Go to any guild outpost to pick it up. Okay, so that gives us incentive to go back to a guild. There is none here, though. What's at the general store? A deft leather helm. It gives you plus two agility. That's pretty awesome. And three defense. So that sounds pretty good, actually. I think we should get um, at least one more potion. At the very least, we might need it. And we can also give it to wanderers. Add to cart. That leather helm is pretty nice. That would be all of our... That would be over half of our gold. Or no, not quite. It would be uh, about half of our gold. Well, let's, let's go back a second. What's in the armor shop? Uh, slippers. So we're wearing traveling boots. Magic item find. Well, that's nice. It also gives us defense. And I don't think these give us any defense. Oh, it does. It gives us one defense. Uh, robes, probably magic. Yeah, we don't care about that. And that leather helm is not as good. Defense 3. Whereas this one, also defense 3, but plus 2 agility. It's a pretty nice helm. I do kind of want to save gold for a better weapon, but we might find a better weapon. What is this? Oh, avoid all battles while traveling. I don't care about that. Um, all right, so let's get that potion. Let's get that helm. And that's going to be a bunch of gold. Yeah, most of our gold, but I think I want to do it. I definitely want another potion. Let's get rid of this. Oh, can we sell stuff? Can I sell things? Um, oh, I did it. Whoops. Okay, that was fast. Uh, so we can sell things here. Let's sell these broken swords. Oh, zero gold. This is the special store. What if we go to the armor shop and try to sell this dirty shirt? No. Well, they sell for zero gold, so let's just get rid of them. I don't know what the point of these things being loot is if they don't sell for anything. But Oh, and this Ring of Fury. Rotten Ring of Fury. Yeah, I think we sell that. How much does that sell for? Three gold. Okay. And this leather garb. What's the deal here? Oh, you need seven strength. And it gives defense of seven. So that's good to know. We could raise our strength by two next level just to be able to wear that leather. Let's keep it for now. Um, I don't really care about our potion of magic. Can we sell that? Yeah. But you know what? Let's keep it just in case a traveler needs it or something. Okay. Let's go back and maybe... Oh, an inn. We could stay here and get some health back, but I think I think we're going to be okay. We have a little higher defense now, too. Whoops. Uh, world. Okay. Back. Mm, what's in the magic shop? Yeah, I don't care about any of that. Okay. So, I guess we just keep traveling. I'm a little worried about traveling too far in hard areas. Uh, a Forgotten Dwelling. Okay. Yeah, let's go in. A nice sound effect. You stand at the entrance of the Forgotten Dwelling. There are several rooms. Oh. Storeroom. I think we definitely go to the storeroom. Everything is covered in dust. Okay, let's try the study. The floor is full of holes. Let's go into the bedroom. 
Oh. Skill, pick lock. Yes. Open chest. Oh. Grim circlet of sense. Oh. So it d does less damage to undead, but gives you magic item find. That's interesting. It's also a helmet. We'll definitely take it. And we have a wand here. Ooh. Uh, you need six intellect. I mean, we'll take it. So can you... Uh, uh, where do you equip a wand? Is it like oh, as a weapon? It is. We can't use it. Oh, whoops. Um, what about that helmet? Can we use this helmet? We can. Require level three. So this gives us a little bit of extra damage to undead. Oh, yeah, they almost balance each other out. We would do a little less damage to undead. Plus, we'd get magic item find. Of course, it's a helmet, so we would not be able to wear this death leather helm, which increases our agility and gives us uh, additional defense as well. Uh, magic item find sounds cool, but I don't know what our current magic item find is. Can we actually see what it is? No. Not something that we can see. All right. Um, we can rest in the bed, but first let's check out the hall. Uh-oh, kill it. Kill the gibber. It's a human. Five damage. All right, we're still going to... We're going to kill this thing. Plus, uh, there's a bed we can rest in after this. Come on. Come on. One more. Come on, three damage. Come on. Poisoned. Oh, I poisoned it? No, I got poisoned. He's supposed to get poisoned. All right. I don't like being poisoned. All right, to the bedroom. Rest in bed. All right, our health's going up. This is good. What? Are you strong enough? Good question. Wait, what is this? Poison. Yeah, so what? There have been reports of large groups of skeletons in your area. Members. Yeah. Yeah. A new location has been added. Kill the skeletons at the location, and you get a guild special helm. Okay, cool. Good quest. So... Can we re... Okay. Um, so we're still at low health. Is that because we're poisoned? How do we un... Poison? Oh, we have an antidote. Or we used to have an antidote. Uh, we used to have an antidote, didn't we? Oh, no, maybe... Antidotes were just something that was available to buy. So we don't have an antidote. So what? Are we just poisoned forever? Can we rest again? Yeah, we can. I don't know if there's any disadvantage to resting. Like, like, uh, time passing by. Like, is there, is there a time limit on this game? There's the special location. I, I don't know if I want to go there quite yet. I think we backtrack a bit. Go back to the guild. I want to kill some more skeletons. Ah! All right, we'll go to that location. But let's stay in the plains area, and maybe that'll be a little safer. Oh, we're still getting poisoned. We need an antidote. This thing's level four. Uh, I'm hoping the poison eventually runs out. Three skulls, and we need four. Oh, we got another potion. That's great. Grim Bone Club of Lords. It does less damage to undead, but more damage to bosses. Although it's a zero to two... Zero to two damage, but our current weapon does one to one damage, I believe. So this definitely is a weapon we might want to use on bosses. Um, just to verify. Yeah, one to one. Do they have attack speeds? No, I don't think weapons have speeds. I'm sure some have properties that affect speed. Okay. Um, I'm nervous about our health. And the poison. Uh, kill it. Unburied or easy or should be. Oh, it did five damage. All right. Maybe we go back to the inn and heal up again. Yeah, this is not great. Ooh! Can we even wield this? Oh, you need 10 strength and level 5. That's an awesome weapon, though. So, um... 10 strength. Yeah, we can't get to 10 strength anytime soon. 
But we can sell this. Or we can keep it for when we eventually have that much. But Okay. So... There's a wanderer. Okay. I don't want to kill this one. I'm, I'm worried about our health. Although we do have potions. We could use one. Let's talk to him. I mean, I kind of want to steal it, but I have a feeling he's going to kill us if we do. All right, if he starts attacking us, I'm going to try to quickly use a potion. Oh, okay, use it. Use. Okay. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Poison him. What is this? Toxic tip. Oh, there it is. That's what you have to do. Oh, stop. I'm... Oh, no. Use another potion. Use. Oh, gosh. Run. Flee. 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 Fail to escape. Flee. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we still got the treasure. All right, so we don't have any health yet, and we're about to die. Um, You need eight strength and level five. We are about to die. Oh, oh, but um, I have an item, don't I? Uh, this thing, King's Icon, teleports you to the nearest fort. So we could use that and then rest at the fort. I'm afraid if we travel to this place, we'll die because we're poisoned and we only have one health. So let's use this. Oh. So we're back at Vestliep. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one that is, but all right, let's, well, first let's go to the guild. Uh, we don't have enough, we actually can't do the quest yet. We don't have four skulls. We haven't done that yet. So let's go back. Oh, but we have something in storage, right? Yeah, this map. Um, examine. Oh, so now this shows, this is nice. This shows the beacons. Here's the end goal here. We see the beacons. I see. So we're back at this fort, and I think we need to plan our journey. It's nice to be able to plan this journey now. All right. And maybe I keep this map up, actually. I'll close this. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go to the inn. Yeah, let's pay that gold. I don't think this poison ever is ever going to go away. It doesn't seem to be doing too much damage. I think we need to buy an antidote, though. We probably should have bought an antidote first, although I don't even think we have that much gold, do we? Oh, we have just enough gold for an antidote. And I guess we're going to need to to buy it. Yeah. I think we have to. I should have used that first. All right. We're healed. We have no gold. Um, I can probably sell some stuff, like that sword we got that's awesome. Unless we think that we're going to get that much strength. It would be nice to have that much strength. Strength is something that we should focus on a bit. But we would, it would require at least two levels. One level of straight strength getting. And then another level of two out of three points. I don't know if we... We could do that. Honestly, we could do that. Maybe I keep the sword. I think we, we want to keep all these things. Um, you, I think we can sell. Yeah, we're going to sell this. How much can we sell it for? Six? Not bad. How much would that sword sell for? 11 gold. That's a lot. That's a lot. So we have two armors here. This one, we just need seven strength. And this one, we need eight. And to be level five. And we... And this one, you need to be level... Oh, three. Yeah, I guess we'll keep them both. I want to sell things, but at the same time... I guess we don't really need... I guess we... We're, I guess the health we have is okay. We don't need to keep to rest again. Oh, look at that war spear. Level six. That'd be awesome. Ooh. Minus four intellect. 
Extra damage to demons. But we can't... Agility 14. Rake. Interesting. Wow. You need a lot of strength for that guy. All right. Clearly, there's a lot of the... You know, this is a lot of, like, advanced stuff here. Oh, a buckler. That would be nice. We have we have no gold, though. I don't even know why I'm looking at this stuff. Um, oh, we can fast travel from place to place. Oh, so we're here, and we could go back to the fort? Yeah. You know what? I kind of want to go back. Oh, never mind. We're not going to fast travel there. <laughs> All right. So, oh, so we fast travel to this fort further to the east all right let's go to this um let's go over here and let's yeah we would definitely want to backtrack a bit here oh this is a dungeon that makes me a little nervous but let's see oh okay this is cool our first dungeon let's loot what's the difference between this chest and the other one is that just this treasure radiant treasure Let's get the regular one first. Easy. <laughs> Approach. Pick lock. Open. Oh, yes. We probably can't actually use any of this. And... Oh, we need a new bag. Well, this antidote... That's really nice. Um, so we might... Oh, maybe I should have sold more stuff then. Wow. Well, this stuff probably sells for a ton. Oh, okay. I can make I can make some windows bigger. Let's make you a bit smaller, actually. And I guess that's that's as much. Oh, is it is it by weight? I think it might be by weight. Can we put some of this stuff in the supplies bag and then move this broadsword? Okay. <laughs> too full. I think it is by weight. So how much do you weigh? Um, it doesn't say. Oh, it does. Eight. It weighs eight. That's a lot of weight. Oh, man. Uh, and this can carry... Uh, can I organize this? These barely weigh anything. You know what? Let's move these back. Oh, these weigh like a pound. Can we move one sword into here? No. Maybe if I move one skull back. Oh, yeah, I can't. Um, okay. Oh, I guess the supplies bag weighs that much, right? Wait, 20. I don't know. The weight thing is a little weird. Um. Move that skull back. Oh, no. It weighs the same. Move these in. Move you in. Okay, there we go. So I don't still don't have eight pounds. I wonder how much. Does it say what it's worth? No, it doesn't say what it's worth. It just weighs so much. That weighs eight. And the sword we just got weighs six. You need how much strength? To, Nineteen. All right, the inventory management is a little... I, I I wish I had known that. I definitely would have sold more stuff. Just to keep... I mean, but this stuff... We just don't have the weight capacity for that stuff. We need to start selling some swords. Uh, maybe I just keep this in the chest? Uh, I can move these in. Yeah, I can move these in. All right, so now we have a full five pounds, but that's still not enough. Uh, do any of these weigh three pounds? That weighs five. How about you? Now, this is the next one that we're probably going to, um, wear. Defense seven. It weighs four. Defense three. That was a lot of extra defense. Mm. Okay. I don't know. I don't like this kind of decision making. Um, do we even need these keys? How much do they weigh? 0. 0.10. <laughs> uh, 
All right, I'm going to leave this in here and hope, I'm going to hope that this, it stays there. Let's go back to town and sell things. Avoid. Woo! That was interesting. All right, travel there. Very close. And now we can sell stuff. Um, so I don't think plus four strength. So you need uh, 14 strength for that. That's, we're not going to get that anytime soon. This one, that you need 10 strength, maybe. So let's sell, let's sell this sword for 15 gold, yes. And maybe I even sell, you know, let's sell this wand. Um, what else? Do I sell one of these armors? Yeah, let's sell this armor. Wait, the armor gives you additional strength. So if I... And you need how much strength? Eight. But you also need to be level five. Theoretically, though, with that strength bonus, we could wear this armor. But we're a bit of a ways to level five, is the thing. Yeah, I'm going to sell it just to keep... Just for the space. It weighs five, and we need... Unless we can buy another bag. Can we do that? Uh, there, there's not like a... Um, a general shop. Yeah. What does a crescent potion do? Grants a stat point. Ooh, well, we can't afford it, but... Okay, and... Um, yeah, let's sell this armor. I'm going to keep this sword and keep this armor for our next level. And then I think we're going to be okay. I could keep healing, but I think... You know what? Maybe, actually, I'm going to buy another healing potion. Um, just one. All right. I think that's wise. We have a little bit of gold. And let's definitely go back to this dungeon. Now, we haven't seen... Uh-oh. I have a feeling these guys are too hard for us. Yeah, run. Run. Oh, man. I'm a little nervous now. I'm very nervous now. No, okay. So, we lost that item. Oh, this is... I am really worried. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get to this chest and then book it. Uh-oh. Uh, run. 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 Keep running. Okay. Uh, run. 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 Keep running. Don't die. Uh-oh. I died. <laughs> that is the blue screen of death. A literal blue screen of death. Name Grimdevel the Wanderer, level 3 Rogue, killed by Church Guard, 9 hours of in-game time, I assume, uh, and 29 minutes, 48 seconds. Earned 3 gems. Okay, so we earned gems. Oh. Wait, so can we pick the same Rogue? Bury them. I don't know. Do we bury them? So we have three gems now. Okay, and you, so you can buy some beginning stuff with gems that you earn. That's cool. Oh, you can buy, you can buy additional cursors. You can buy hotkeys? I just realized that. That's, okay, cool. All right. Um, if, whoa, no, don't delete. I guess bury them? Is there is the other option that you get to resurrect them? I guess bury them. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, um... Why don't you be buried with your death leather helm? Okay, cool. Um, so that's not quite long enough for an episode. Let's create a new adventure and just... See. Uh, what are we going to call this one? Boy, I hate coming up with names that aren't you know i have some names that i use for characters here's one hollanday i like that name uh and this time let's do a mage let's see what let's see how you do that let's see what that's all about um let's just get a random 
Let's go to a good mage character here. Ah, yeah, let's do you. You're fine. Um, except. All right, Holland Day. Oh, and now we can actually take the Death Leather Helm. Um, probably not the best thing for... So when you die with someone, I wonder if that's always going to be available for us to start with. When someone's buried with someone. We're going to start with the magic points. Okay. Um, so we've seen all this stuff before. Uh, but we get that quest again. That's cool. Let's, um, look at the world. Oh! This is definitely different. So the world is, uh, randomly generated each time, it, it appears. Which is great. That's awesome. That makes me happy. A wanderer. Approach it. Um, alright, we'll give you our potion. Let's talk to him. Oh, we got one of these for it. Our reputation increased. That's lovely. Um... Let's move this log. We can also... Yeah, there we go. Move you down here. Uh, we're going to take you. Gonna move you over here. Move you up here. All right. Uh, why don't you give me some advice? You get better deals at shops if you have a good reputation. Well, that's nice. Um, do we just go straight here, or do we go to this outpost first? Let's go to this outpost first. I'm curious. Um, so what do we start with here? As a All right, the same stuff. And so we have all these. Yeah, thank you. So we have these skills. And I didn't realize until it was way too late how to use our, like, poison skill when we were playing the rogue. I think we used it once. And I don't even think it was successful. So definitely need to look at that even more as this character, I think. Well, I always do that. All right. Uh, travel. Uh, kill it. So I can't. I don't have any skills to use here, but. We can we can take out of this guy. We're, we'll level up really soon too, so our our health will regenerate. Loot, nothing found. Leave and continue. And this time we're going to be a little careful about adventuring too far away from the beginning area too soon. Approach the wanderer. Talk. Uh, we have some gold. Let's buy it. We're not a rogue. We're gonna we're not gonna steal it. We're gonna buy it. Oh, I think this is gonna be really nice for us. You need to be level three, but we can get to level three. That thing might even be worth more than seven gold, although probably not. Uh, give me some more advice. Dungeons are dangerous, but they hide great treasures. Yeah, we discovered that. That we did discover. Okay, and now let's travel across the water into this fort. Uh, kill it. All right. This shouldn't be too much trouble. Loot. All right, got a beast eye. Continue. I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable with how this game works and how to do well in it. Um, oh, double click. Oh, you can double click items to see their properties. I don't have to like right click. So yeah, okay. We I don't need to see all that stuff every time, but um, oh, it gives you burn too. That's cool. Costs a lot. Um, well, actually we could afford it, but you need seven intellect and level three Although we could get that in not too long. We could buy preemptively buy that. We might also want to get potions of magic, additional potions of magic. Um, let's go back for now. What kind of armor? A robe plus one, huh? Well, we have the other robe that we're probably going to want to wear um, when we get to level three. I think I'm fine keeping that. We just need to get to level three. All right, let's do the quest. Um, submit. Very nice. Okay, so here we get to choose mage skills. So some of these were also available for the rogue, but you can heal. That's pretty nice. Chill. Inflict four cold damage and slow target. Poison and burn. Inflict two fire. So that only costs two magic, whereas chill does f cost four magic, although it's it's the same proportion, um, like ratio of magic to damage, except chill also slows the target. So that might be the way to go. And poison does even more, but I guess it's damage over time. And heal, of course, is pretty awesome. I think we're going to want heal 
soon, but not right away. I think we do for one of the damage ones. And I guess four magic is a lot. But we need, yeah, magic regen. I'm tempted to take chill, though. Let's learn chill. Cool. So now it's here in this skill thing. And yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have a hotkey for that? Okay, so we learned that. Thank you. And let's up our intellect. Well, so what do you need? What? Oh, um, yeah, it's just a required level. No required anything else. Let's definitely get our intellect up to at least seven. And the more intellect, the more magic points we have, too. Uh, also, nothing in storage, right? Yeah, no. Oh, so storage, you could also keep things that you want to keep for later. We could put some of the stuff in storage. Although our stuff probably doesn't weigh that much because we're a mage. Uh, no, no, no. No, I want to... Where's, like, the town? There we go. Okay, um... Now, Potion of Magic gives you 50% of your magic back. Um... All right, so I wanted to look at the... No, 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 the weapons. We were considering buying that weapon. Where... Didn't we... Oh, here, the Oak Staff. Yeah, so we could buy this. You need level 3 and intellect 7. So we got that intellect 7. So I guess that's fine. So now we let's just think about what we actually want. Um, strength isn't as important for us. I'm a little worried about our hit points. Let's get one vitality and another intellect. All right, that's fine. Cool. And yeah, let's buy this oak staff. Let's do it. Uh, whoops, I need to add to cart. And view cart. And check mm -hmm. out. Boom. So let's level up. Uh, actually, let's not level up yet because it's about time to end this episode. So, um, you know, again, let me know if you want to keep seeing this series. I definitely want to keep playing this game. I want to see what else this game has to offer because I'm definitely not done exploring how much this game has to offer. It seems really cool, and I'm excited about doing better at it than we did last time. Um, so let me know what you think, how excited you are to keep watching the series. Um, or not. Let me know that too. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and please leave comments. I enjoyed playing with you today and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.